As part of the NERC funded Southwest Partnership for Environmental and Economic Prosperity, we have been working to explore innovative, smart beach technology and science backed approaches to help save lives at the coast. Beach safety is a big issue in the Southwest, where in 2021, the RNLI lifeguard saved 56 lives and aided over 13,000 more. Crantock is one such beach, which sits on the north coast of Cornwall. It has a number of hazards, including powerful breaking waves and strong rip currents. Another, more specific hazard is the estuarine currents from the River Gannel. For many decades, this was contained against the northern headland by an artificially engineered rock wall keeping the strong river flows predictable and manageable for lifeguards. But following unprecedented storms in the winter of 2013 and 14, the river broke free and reverted to meandering across the beach. This has carved deep troughs where currents flow in multiple directions. It is difficult to manage the risks associated with this and it's not uncommon for water users to quickly find themselves out of their depth. Since 2014, RNLI lifeguards have seen safety incidences rise, with combined rescue and incident assist figures of less than 40 a year to over 190 in 2018, including two fatalities when lifeguards were not present. Concerns are mounting about the many beach users left exposed to dangerous bathing conditions once the lifeguard service ends at 6 p.m. each day. The SWEEP team, led by Professor Hurt Messelink, Dr. Kit Stokes and Dr. Tim Pote from the University of Plymouth's Coastal Processes Research Group, have been working closely with the RNLI, as well as a wider group of local landowners, businesses and local community groups to help tackle this issue. Our initial goal was to create a, a model to simulate the hazards and in that way we could better understand when they would switch on and off. In spring 2021 we came down to the beach to do a, a field experiment. We wanted to go out and directly measure the, the flows that were happening on the beach. We wanted to measure how big the waves were, how far in and out the tide was going and how strong the currents were at different places on the beach. We collected three main types of data. We collected survey data, so that's essentially measurements of the dry parts of the beach using a drone. And that gives us a really detailed picture of the shape of the beach with all of the sandbars, all of the channels and all of the areas where the water can flow in and between. The second type of data we collected were measurements of the flows and we collected those using uh, instruments fixed in position. These are what we call Eulerian measurements. The third type of data that we collected were uh, what we call Lagrangian measurements. So these are measurements of the flows where the measurements are moving with the flow. These drifters have a high accuracy GPS unit on them and they mimic a person floating in the water. And with those three different types of data you build up a picture of where the currents are, how fast they're flowing and how those currents and waves change as the change in tide and change in wave conditions alter them. This showed that the speed of currents from the Gannel estuary far exceed those of a typical rip current, in some cases reaching two metres per second, more than twice the speed a professional lifeguard can swim in the sea. This rapid sea flowing conveyor belt is exactly what leads to fatigue, panic and in some unfortunate cases drowning. This novel forecasting system is now feeding into groundbreaking smart beach technology that delivers dynamic information to the public through large digital screens at the two main beach access points. Steve Instance, RNLI's Southwest Water Safety Lead, tells us about the benefits of the SWEEP project. We've been receiving the forecasting system for, for a couple of years now and our lifeguards have been testing the data, testing the information that comes through that forecast with their own knowledge, with, with what they see. So we're absolutely confident that the forecast has got it right. We've invested in new signage. We've got digital signs in the car park as you enter the beach at Crantock, which now gets that message to the public. Because our lifeguards finish at six o'clock in the evening when it's really important 
is not when the lifeguards are there to keep an eye on people and have the, the flags out and are talking to everybody, it's when the lifeguards aren't there. It's when people need to understand for themselves what the risk is and whether they can venture into the sea. And this digital signage, we believe, is unique. We're not aware of anything like this existing anywhere, certainly in Europe and possibly anywhere around the world. And we hope, ultimately, one day this will save lives. The Sweet Project is exactly the sort of work that the RNLI like to align with. The team have also played a key role in the important process of harnessing local community life-saving efforts, helping to bring together the right partners at the right time. And this collaborative approach to water safety is key for sustaining change in the longer term, and a principle we know works well in the RNLI. We're committed to continuing to monitor, to evaluate, and further develop the digital signage in the Southwest with our water safety teams, alongside the sweep team over the next few years, with a view to this potentially becoming part of a suite of interlinked interventions for water safety.